Six people are dead and eight others are critically injured in Berkeley after an apartment balcony collapsed and fell four stories. This happened early this morning. Officials say they are investigating the cause of the collapse. NBC's Dan Sheneman has the latest. It happened early Tuesday morning. The victim had gathered at an apartment building near the University of California at Berkeley to celebrate a 21st birthday party. I heard a bang in the middle of the night. And, uh, yeah, I just walked outside and saw a load of rubble on the street. Police and witnesses said as many as 13 to 14 people may have been gathered on the balcony when it gave way. It looks like it teetered over and then causing whoever was on the balcony to fall to the ground. Four of the students were killed instantly. Two later died at local hospitals. At least seven others are being treated for what police called critical, life threatening injuries. Our officers and our paramedics did everything they could for all the victims involved. Police, fire, and Berkeley city officials are now working to determine what caused the catastrophe. We're going to fully investigate this this particular incident. So we, with our inspectors, we were not going to leave any rock unturned. And the Irish government has offered its support. Obviously, uh, in the aftermath of a tragedy like this, uh, the situation uh, is extremely difficult. I was absolutely devastated to hear the news, particularly when one thinks of young lives uh, that are on the edge of so much. The Irish Council General in San Francisco will provide assistance to those affected. Dan Sheneman, NBC News. Meanwhile, the woman who resigned as the head of Spokane's NAACP chapter earlier this week over controversy surrounding her racial identity is speaking out. She spoke with Matt Lauer this morning on Today. She says that even though she was born Caucasian, her self-perception changed around age five. I was drawing self-portraits with the brown crayon instead of the peach crayon. Are you an African-American woman? I identify as black. At one time married to a black man and the mother of black sons, Dolezal's self-description and portrayal as black has sparked controversy. But she is staunchly defending her change in appearance in adulthood, saying it's not a, quote, mockery or performance, end quote. She also adds that her sons support her decision. Lyle Mitchell made a jailhouse visit to his wife, Joyce, today. According to a CNN source, Joyce is held on charges of smuggling tools to two murderers, Richard Matt and David Sweat, who broke out of a New York prison. She has pleaded not guilty to the two charges brought against her, but has been talking to investigators. Joyce Mitchell is accused of an inappropriate relationship with one of the inmates and having a sexual relationship with the other. Investigators are looking into whether or not the escaped murderers intended to kill Lyle Mitchell after breaking out of prison. The manhunt for those two prisoners is still underway in upstate New York. Hundreds of historical and centuries old monuments in Nepal are now reopened following devastating earthquakes in April and May. The government has opted to push ahead with reopening the sites despite cautionary statements issued last week saying that they were still unstable. The chief of the government's archaeology department defended the decision. He said many of the structures are now safe and visitors would be required to wear safety helmets in places that might be insecure. Nearly 750 monuments were damaged by the quakes that struck Nepal on April 25th and May 12th. The Stanley Cup has started its tour for the victorious Chicago Blackhawks. Team officials brought the cup to a restaurant in Chicago this morning. This begins a year-long tour for the cup. The team that wins the Stanley Cup gets to display it pretty much in any manner they wish. For example, last night, the team's coach drank a libation from it after the win. Then it toured a Chicago night spot until about 4 o'clock in the morning. It had a big night last night before making it back to United Center early today. Madison. All right, coming up, we're still a few days away from the official start of summer, but 90 degree weather is here and it's sticking around. Stay with us. Your full forecast is next.